In this video, well, ugh, keep, let's not hit the microphone. Hello everybody, thank you so much for checking out this really quick video on making cool funky stuff inside the Mari Node Graph. In this video and a couple other videos that I'm going to make at a certain point as well, I'm going to be going over how to make your own custom tools inside the Node Graph called gizmos. So what's a gizmo? A gizmo is a collection of nodes grouped together into a single package with a couple parameters exposed so that the user has something to play with. It's kind of like if you make a material in designer and then you expose a list of parameters so that you can manipulate the material when you import it into painter. A gizmo is kind of like a simplified version of that, but at the same time, they can also be like insanely complex as well. But in this video, this is just an introduction. We're just gonna dip your toes in a little bit, get you kind of used to some concepts and everything. Start with something relatively simple. So let's say that there's a process that you do over and over and over and over again, like extracting a black and white mask from a grunge map. So here's a tool that I built really quickly that has a few simple controls that I can plug in a texture and get this result. So how does it work? If I control double click on the node, we can actually dive inside it to see the inner workings of the gizmo. And there it is, super simple, just a few color correction nodes plugged into a stream and then pumped out again. The texture gets plugged in here, gets turned into a grayscale image, goes through an invert node, goes through a grade node, gets clamped, and then into a mixer at the end before getting pumped out again. It's super simple, but super useful. So if I select this grade node, you can see its parameters in the node properties over here. And some of them have this little orange wrench next to them. Those are the exposed parameters, the high level options that the user has access to without having to dig through a mess of nodes inside this group. If I jump out of here and go back into the node graph root and I select my gizmo, I can play with these exposed parameters to affect the output. So hopefully you can see that this little tool is just a few nodes I've piped together, grouped into a single package, and then chosen a few parameters to play with to affect what the tool does to the input image. So let's get rid of this and start from scratch and let's remake it. First, what we wanna do is get a grayscale version of whatever goes in. So we'll create a luminosity node. Then in case we wanna invert the map, we'll plug in an invert. And you might be wondering at this point how I created a little switch to toggle on and off the invert effect, but we're gonna take care of that in just a second. For now, let's just pipe this straight into a grade node. And then anytime you use a grade node, we're gonna wanna clamp it afterwards in case we start introducing values beyond zero to one. I'm also gonna add in a mix so that I can pipe in the original and the result, and I'll be able to compare the two on the fly. And that's pretty much it. I just organize my nodes, I select them all, and I hit Control G to group. Let's call this guy Mask Extractor. And then when we double click on it and look in the node properties, we see it's pretty empty. So let's expose some parameters to play with. I'm gonna dive inside. And the first thing that I do is rename all my nodes. This is just for organizing how the gizmo looks in the properties window. Each exposed parameter lives under a category and the name of that category is chosen by the name of the node that it belongs to. If I have a node named invert and a node named grade and a node named mix, the gizmo is gonna have a category for each, and I want them all to live under the same category called extract. So let's change that now. I'm gonna go through and select the parameters that I want to expose, starting with invert. I'll select the red, green, and blue tick box, and if this seems confusing, you're gonna see why it makes sense in just a minute. Next on the grade node, I'm gonna choose the black point, the white point, the lift, and the gain. I don't necessarily wanna use the rest of them but you can choose any or all parameters that you want. Lastly, let's just take this mix amount. If we jump back into the node graph root, we can see that our gizmo has all the parameters set up the way that we want, mostly. One last thing we need to do is fix the invert option. I'm going to click on this P over here to open up the menu to edit the parameters. If I select the red, green, and blue options, I can link them together, call them invert, and now a single toggle affects all three. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna make sure that the mix node is set up properly and our gizmo is done. 
The last step is to export our gizmo to your documents Mari gizmo folder. And then on the next launch of Mari, your gizmo is going to show up in the node menu. Thanks for watching everyone. I know that this was a super simple example, but I've made all sorts of cool procedural tools like this, like a generator to simulate raindrops on windows and puddles on the ground. You can create smart masks based on curvature and ambient occlusion. There's really limitless stuff that you can do, so play around with it. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to be going over a couple of cool tools like warp nodes, AO from height and normal maps, and a whole bunch more. So please subscribe to keep up to date. And of course, or send me any questions you have in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.